Hi, hello, welcome back to Last Looks, or welcome to Last Looks if you're new. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. I so very appreciate it. Today, we are going to be doing um, something I might regret, which is not a way I've started a video in a long time. Which, to be fair, I've not really started a video in a long time at all. But, um, I, I want to dye my hair. I have been wanting to dye my hair, but the reason that I'm nervous about it is because I am for the first time ever in my whole life in a position where I really like the way, the way that my hair looks growing out of my head. This is like the way that it naturally dried today. I love my natural color. I love my old grown out highlights. It's a really cute length right now. So you might be asking why are you dying it? And the reason is because I'm bored and it's summertime and um also because i just watched the first toby Maguire spider-man movie with my boyfriend in fact he started it so i only watched like the last half um and mary jane's hair in that movie it gives me like i don't know it makes it like scratches the brain itch for me and i really i really really would love to have that and it's really not hard to dye your hair back brown um so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to try out a hair dye that I actually used to use all the time when I was like, when did I first ever dye my hair red? If I can, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. Um, but I'm thinking that it was probably like 2013, 2012, maybe even. There was like this, it was like when Rihanna had red hair. It was like when Rihanna had red hair actually. So if that tells you how back in, how far back in time we are um, on YouTube, the hair dye to use for dyeing your hair from brown to red was the L'Oreal High Color Highlights. And this is the way that I dyed my hair red the very first time I ever did it. Um, and I loved it. You went straight from brown to red. Um, it was like the very first like um, high lift permanent dye I'd ever used. I've always ever like, I have I had only ever at the time like bleached my hair and then put a semi-permanent dye over it. I had never used like anything that could lift your hair from brown without bleaching it first. Um, and I thought that it was so fun. And I had red hair for like a decade of my life, but I, for some reason went into um, just bleaching it and then dyeing it with like a manic panic. I don't know why I went away from this, um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's not the same red that I used to use. Like I said, um, I'm, I was very inspired by Mary Jane in whichever year the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man is. Um, her hair is like not a natural auburn, but it's also not orange, but it's also not like fire truck red. It's like somewhere in the middle of like bright orange, burgundy, and then like uh, a natural auburn. Uh, it's so weird. I keep calling it supernatural in my head. It is the idea of a natural color, but girl, it's not created in nature. Um, so I got copper red and I chose it based on this watch in the store and a couple of photos from Googling. So I'm hoping that that gives me literally the exact shade of probably very hard to find niche hair color that I want. And then I got 30 volume developer. This is gonna damage my hair a little bit, not as much as bleaching it. Um, and another thing I'm a little bit worried about is that I, since this is lifting, I'm gonna have to put it from root to, to or from, I'm gonna have to put it on from bottom to top instead of from top to bottom, which I hate. And I don't ever do from top to bottom. I always just put the hair dye wherever I want to put it. <sighs> However, this does make me feel joy because one of my very favorite videos in all of the internet is Jenna Marbles dyeing her hair with this exact hair dye. Um, so I feel very connected to her right now. Also, if you're mean to me about the mess behind me, um, you're not my friend anymore and you're not invited to my birthday party and it was pretty rude of you to bring it up. Anyway, let's get started. Hello. I really hope this whole bottle of dye, or this bottle of dye covers my whole head because I only bought one, um, which might seem like a working mistake, but like, 
my hair's short, but I didn't think about the fact that like my hair is a lot longer than it was the last time I dyed my hair. So like, I don't actually, it's not as short as it has been. And also it's getting pretty thick. I hope that these highlights turn like a brighter, I hope that they like show up and turn a brighter red. I think that that would be really fun. Or not red, but like a um, supernatural auburn color that we're going for. So down the middle and then right behind my ear, from the crown to behind my ear. Off, time to mix it up. I'm gonna start. Mm, I'm just gonna mix the whole thing. I'm gonna mix the whole thing up. Who cares? Sometimes I like to do half and half to try to make sure I don't use the whole, like too much, but I really think I'm gonna have enough. This is kind of a big bottle, and we're mixing it with developer, so I think we'll be fine. It really looks like blood because it's a little bit orange. When it, oh, that looks like blood and guts. How fun. Spooky, spooky, a little bit early. Oh my God, it's so smelly. This is just the dye. This isn't even the developer yet. What the hell? How much is in here? I don't know. Oh shit, I spilled it everywhere. Not really everywhere. I'm not gonna show it to you because it looks, it's cream developer on the towel. Only spilled it a little bit. I don't remember how much to put them. How, why do they put the instructions on the inside of the goddamn box? I'm not getting scissors out for this. I'm sure most people would get scissors out. Did I check and see that there were words on it? Okay. These are not instructions. <laughs> 2.5 fluid ounces. This is four. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't use the whole thing. I need a little bit over half. Feels about right. Looks about right. I am, okay, I'm starting to get really excited seeing this color. I kept picturing myself with like crimson hair and I was like getting a little bit scared. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna grab piece by piece um, and then I'll use the tint brush when I get to my roots and no one's allowed to judge me for it. Okay, okay. All right. Do I start with the front or the back? I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've done anything like this. I think that's another reason why I was like a little bit putting it off is because um, dyeing your hair is like a lot of work. Like it sounds like fun when you think of it and you're like, oh my God, dyeing my hair is so fun. I love doing it. It's cathartic, it's chaotic. And then you do it and you're like, this is work. And my arms are tired. I found a barrette. All right. Okay. I'm starting. I'm resisting the urge when I do this to say, what am I resisting the urge to say? No going back now. That's actually one of my big pet peeves because um, now there is the, like, I could still go back. No, I could go take a shower right now and nothing would have happened. <laughs> um, but I guess it is like, I'm officially started. So I am not going to stop, but you could still go back. I'm gonna take little pieces and put dye about an inch to my roots. About <laughs> to about an inch away from my roots. Gosh, dang it. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that for a while. Mm. 
I don't think it's doing anything. I'm starting to get nervous. All right, there's that one. Done. Then I'm gonna work on this one. Ugh. I'm getting it all over my arm. Oh, that made it way worse. I like the color it's turning on my arm. I need to roll that back up. My boyfriend and I have been watching Jackass, which is so enjoyable, even though I'm such a like baby about so much of the stuff, like so much of it. Like basically I can only watch them do like stuff that's genuinely scary or dangerous like um like when they like fall off of high stuff or they're like around dangerous animals or um i can do needles i can do leeches on the eyes i can do all that kind of stuff but i can't do like gross um and i won't go into detail because i literally can't even think about it i'm such a baby but like <laughs> i still love to watch the movies i just um i just have to close my eyes which i think is allowed I'm a big proponent for that in horror, horror movies, so I feel like I should be allowed to do that in other stuff also. <laughs> anyway, a little look. It looks like it's getting so low already. What if I don't get to do my roots at all? I really, like, don't know what I'll do if I run out. Cause I have to work tomorrow. We'll see, baby. Oh, not done yet. Shakies. All right. <laughs> Let's start on the back. I don't think that these sections are very big here in the back. I feel like they're bigger. <laughs> they're way bigger. Ah! Also, you guessed it's the middle of the night right now. When I said I have to work in the morning, there's no chance I'm going back to the store tonight. <laughs> I'm going to work with whatever hair I have in the morning. So there's some steaks for you. Medium rare. This is so stupid. Why do I, why did I make this mistake? I hate this mistake. I shouldn't have gone to the back section. I should have just done the roots of the front section and then just had the front section be red and the back section be brown for tomorrow. Uh, but I didn't think fast enough. <laughs> Plus, who knows? I could maybe still do the whole thing. I don't think so. I really don't. But we can try. I could probably mix in more developer. If I was going to, I should do it now. I'm going a little bit over the ratio to make it last longer. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Yeah, there we go. If it's a slightly different color, we will all live. Oh yeah, and it's mixing in way easier. The key to dyeing your hair like a maniac like this is just to make sure that it's everywhere. Um, the way you end up with like super spotty, patchy hair after behaving this way is if you behave this way and then stop and not check on it in the middle and not look at it while you're doing it and making sure that you get every hair. Like you have to separate the hair that you're doing the hair that you're dyeing to make sure that every strand is covered. This comb, just make sure that it's all through evenly. There's a loud bug outside the window. Um, I'm gonna start on my roots. 
Um, we are so running low on dye, and I've mixed more developer in it, which makes me really scared for the color that it's gonna turn out, but I don't know. We'll be fine. I'm just doing it anyway. I hope that you guys can hear that bug, because it's kind of funny. Bro, leave me alone. I've been getting these moths around me that are like massive. I think they're hawk moths. They're beautiful, but like they get too close and they're so loud. Like I'm not, I'm not scared of bugs. I'm annoyed by them up in my business. And they always are just buzzing up in my ear. But I've always been like very nice to bugs and I've had it like multiple times where I feel like they've like overstepped me being nice to them. I think that this will be such a good look for like, um, like late summertime vintage tropical pinup girl vibes. Not quite like, um, like Americana pinup girl, but like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want to be glamorous. I just feel like I'll feel really hot. And like, I feel like I deserve that. Come to my window. I'll be home soon. I think you're supposed to wait time in between. I didn't want to. <laughs> and I didn't read the instructions past like how much developer to put in. And I didn't even follow that. I'm not trying to read tiny lettering on the side of a box, Mary. Brenda Luan. All right, I think that it's all covered. So I'm going to Fold my hair up. Take my gloves off. And then I am going to find a plastic bag to wrap this in. Um, and then I'm gonna sit in a plastic bag for, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes and uh, probably 30 since I've been doing it, but maybe 45, I don't know. I can't decide, we'll see. Um, but I'll be back in a, in a jiffy. I'll be back in no time for you. Um, yeah, I'll be back to check in before I wash it out so that we can sort of look at the color. But for now, it looks like it's doing well, I think. Like my hair looks dark under there still, but I don't know. I think the tones are changing. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, BRB. All right, I just sat on my balcony for like, I don't know, half an hour or something. Just watching my phone. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice and dark. But definitely a different color. Let's go wash it out. All right, I'm back and I'm, I am scared it didn't do anything. Um, but I haven't really looked at it yet. What is this? Um, let's look at it together, shall we? Okay, it is different. It definitely is different. Um, I'm not, this is not like the full reveal. This is just the wet reveal. Um, I am going to blow dry a little bit of my bangs. I'm gonna blow dry my whole head before I go to bed. But I'm gonna blow dry my bangs to get a, sort of an idea of the color. And then I'm gonna blow dry the rest of my hair and go to bed because it's so late. But I will show y'all in the morning, styled and with makeup on, what it looks like. I think I got hot roots, which is fun. Oh, 
okay. That's actually really pretty. That is not what the swatch looked like and it's not what I thought. It's not like what I was hoping for, but it is pretty. Like a pretty brown auburn. I haven't dried it fully, but I think it might be like the best of both worlds. But we'll see in the morning. Good night. Hey, are you guys ready? Oh, are you guys ready? Ta -da! I wanted to come out here to show you because it was like, looked like a very subtle change inside, but it is not that subtle. Like it's definitely a different color, but I love it. It's not exactly what I wanted in like the first place. What I wanted was like a brighter color, but I don't, I don't remember if I talked about this last, I think I did. I was a little bit worried that if I went fully to like a ginger color, that I would have an identity crisis. Cause like in my soul, I'm a brunette. And this just feels like the universe had my back and it came out like the best of both worlds. Something a little bit new, something that really works with my skin tone cause I'm a warm toned gal. Um, but it's still dark and it's still, it's not that like cherry Coke Auburn that I didn't want. It's definitely like orange, which is like so cool. I feel really beautiful. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Um, and if you guys like this video, please make sure to like it down below. And if you like me, please make sure to subscribe. I, um, make YouTube videos, uh, when I make YouTube videos. Thanks again for watching and, uh, let me know what else you'd like to see from me and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.